And from there, for example, we're just gonna go right into our app store. In our app store, we're just gonna look for that app. So the app that we're looking for, it's called, let me just type it up here and just put this on the side. And we're gonna type in Gove. So as soon as you type in Gove, it looks like this, Gove Home. So we're just gonna download it, just press get. It is a free app. How long will this download take? Well, it shouldn't take that long because it's a pretty small download. Let me just tap on the app so you guys can see exactly how big this is. Right now it's telling me that it's only 104 megabytes. So that's on top of here. It is going through pretty fast. As long as you guys have that newest iOS, this should work just fine. However, we can see exactly what it's compatible with. So down here below, we can see that it does require iOS 9 or later. Well, iOS 9.3, not just iOS 9. So as long as you guys have something like that, you should be good to go. Most, not all, but most older devices are at least in iOS 9. Now this should be yeah, good to go. So we can open this up. So let's just open up the app and allow that. Now I want this bigger screen so you guys can see it. I'm just gonna tap, 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 and make this bigger for you guys. There we go, finally. So we're gonna accept that. And at this point in time, we just have to tap on the top right hand corner. We're gonna see that. And here it's gonna tell us exactly what we're looking for. So down here below, we should see home improvement. Just select home improvement, then scroll down. And then we're gonna see H5102. That's the right one that we have to select. So select that. Now you can connect without logging in or you can log in. So to log in, you have to create an account. So I'm actually gonna show you that really fast, how to log in. So let's just go and say create account. That's on the bottom right down here. We're gonna see create account. And from here, just type in your email. From here, we're supposed to get our verification email. So just go right into your email. It's gonna look something like this. And from there, you're gonna have a different number than me. Mine's 3520. Once you put that in, it's gonna take you here to create a password. So create one that's not too difficult, but difficult enough for not people not to guess it so easily. So once you created your account, you're just gonna go into this screen right away. And it's gonna ask you to access your Bluetooth. Obviously you have to, so you have to allow that. And from there, we can see our device. That's the closest one, just right there. So we're gonna select that, and it's gonna go ahead and connect. So as long as you guys have this close enough to your other device, you should be okay. So this is connecting this guy up to our iPad. Be the same thing, whether it's an iPhone or Android. So right now, device name, smart thermometer, which is fine. I'm gonna keep it as is done. Then from here, we're gonna see this. So it's a lot better if you do this than just use it as is. That's a good thing about these guys that are Bluetooth, because we can do a lot with it. We can even view this in Celsius. So you could view it in both ways, and that's not really a problem. You can view day, week, month, year. But anyways, we just started this. So obviously it's gonna be just hourly. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Well, not a little bit of time, but just a few seconds to actually calibrate. As you guys could see, it started here, then went all the way up here, and then it just started to calibrate. So we're gonna leave that happening. Other than that, as long as you have your Bluetooth turned on, do not have this in power safe mode, for example, any device you guys have, you should be all right with the whole setup. That's how it works. That's how this looks like. Anyways, that would be it for this video right here. If you have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.